Hi, Champs families. I'm Mrs. Cavalhi, one of our Champs teachers, and I'm going to read, if you'd like to share it with your own preschooler, The Night Before Preschool by Natasha Wien. Twas the night before preschool, alarm clocks were set, all the children were cuddling, their favorite plush pet. Monkeys and lions and soft bunnies too would be going to school like big boys and girls do. Parents set out clothes and clean underwear. Hoodies were hung by the front door with care. The children nestled all warm in their beds while visions of playtime danced in their head. But one little boy was still wide awake. He worried about preschool and the friends that he'd make. His tummy hurt, yet he didn't know why. He hid mommy. He was feeling quite shy. Hi there, Billy, said Justin. He greeted each child by name. Gather round and we'll start with a fun clapping game. Kids sang songs and danced dances. They loved circle time. Then everyone listened to stories and a mother goose rhyme. They dressed up in clothes from the big costume box. Look, I'm a pirate. And I'm Goldilocks. But Billy just watched. Other kids as they played in the corner by himself was right where he'd stay. He drew a dinosaur as tall as a tree. He showed it to Justin. That's great. Is it for me? Then the children picked up their crayons and toys and took a trip to the bathroom. One for girls and one for boys. Then off the class marched for playtime outside. Let's break for snacks, said Justin, but Billy pushed his aside. There were tricycles to ride in a big loop, the loop a garden to tend, and sand piles to scoop. After hanging up jackets and wiping off shoes, they gathered their buddies for a quiet time snooze. The kids lay on their mats. Soon there wasn't a peep. All were quiet except Billy, who could not fall asleep. I can't take a nap without my teddy Jerome, but he's not here, wailed Billy. I left him at home. When what to his watering eye should appear but a soft fuzzy rabbit with a bow on his on its ear. It's okay, a little girl said. Here, take my bunny. And suddenly Billy's tummy stopped feeling so funny. Thanks, whispered Billy, snuggling up for a nap. And just like that, he was asleep in a snap. After nap time was over, he played with Charlene. I'll be the, the blue ring, said Billy, and I'll be the green. When out in the hallway there arose such a clatter, kids sprang to the door to see what was the matter. Parents rushed in, wanting hugs and kisses. Billy's mom brought Jerome and asked, did you miss us? See you tomorrow, said Justin. Wow, the first day was done. I'll be back, Billy shouted. Preschool is fine. I hope you guys enjoyed that story and that you're helping to get your little one ready for preschool. And we hope to see you on Friday, August 6th at 9 o'clock for our parent orientation.